going on YouTube? Um, so, January, January 9th. We didn't do much today, we got more my commercial jobs. So we actually powder coated today. We didn't really get much building done, but we're working. Um, I do a lot of these valves. I don't really want to get up close to them because I don't want them to yell at me because I don't, heaven forbid, I get in trouble for putting them on video. So I want to get the permission before I really show you. But if there's any firefighters or anyone that does like dust control, task force tips, that name may ring a bell, especially the firefighters. So if you guys know what I'm talking about as far as task force tips, they do valves and fire suppression stuff around the world. Standalone units for the West Coast or anywhere in the world that the world is on fire. But anyway, anything firefighting, all the water valves. Um, so if you are a firefighter, comment below if you know what I mean. Because if you, you just purchased one, odds are I powder coated it. And send me a picture of it, that'd be pretty cool. I never see what people, after I do stuff, no one ever tells me that was it. But, so... Booth didn't even put the doors on yet. He cleared out this area, so now we got our old oven here. This building is actually part of, it was a part of the old Mantino, Illinois Saint Asylum, um, better known as Mantino State Hospital. I can't say a Saint Asylum, but this was the laundry building. I'll add a clip in this video of all the other buildings, they're brick buildings, but if you Google Mantino State Hospital, you'll get the pictures of it. That's pretty creepy. I do want to do a video on like just kind of that, you know, exploring some of the buildings. But this place is really cool. I think in the early, sometimes in the 40s, if someone knows more than me, correct me if I'm wrong. In the 40s, it was built and then it closed in the early 80s. It was a insane asylum. See all the brick buildings? I mean, can't really see them. It's hard. Hopefully they see on the bigger screen, but it's there. There's more back there on the corner. It closed in the late 80s, early 80s. But this is an insane asylum. A lot of the haunted herb buildings are they've been torn down, but it's where they first um, what is it called? They first did lobotomies, so shock therapy. Because we're about an hour south of the, uh, Chicago in Mantino, Illinois. So if you YouTube Mantino, Illinois Insane Asylum, you'll see all kinds of stories on this place. It's pretty cool, really interesting. If I ever, all these buildings are connected underground in tunnels, and the tunnels are big enough you can get a golf cart through. Let me see. I've actually never been over here. See all. I could show you where the tunnels tunnels are. So there's the sidewalk. The tunnels are right there underground. A lot of them on, under the streets have been closed off for heavier trucks going through. They collapse, so they fill that in. But you can still get them in somewhere. I've never been in them. Everything is still asbestos wrapped. So I really don't want to die when I'm 40. Close this door. All right, so what we're doing now, we're trying to just set up the oven. That's the burn box that he's got, and we're trying to lay it out. You gotta get a square area for it. That'll be the length of the oven. We gotta install the floor trim, but before we do that, we gotta get a nice square foundation where the oven goes. So that's what we're doing now. As soon as we do this and we get a nice square rectangle, the oven layout, we'll get back to it.
update. Step back here so you can so you can see it. We got that up. And by up I mean stood up. Held in by two by ones or whatever those are. They're not two by fours. Two by threes? Whatever. Anyway, it's up. And we got a garage door so I could turn my security system on again. And it holds all my heat in. So yeah, garage door's up. Got me a window so you can see my blast room. Apparently I gotta turn off all the lights. <laughs> it's me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 mm, mm. Only like 40 panels to go. But it's coming. So, the right side is in. So, what's your 11, 10, 9, Eight seven six five four three two five on here four three two one. Luckily, Zach labeled them when he took them down. Thank you, sir. Spray adhesive. Lay it in there. Old man's body working back there. Surely. All right. Inside the oven. So next, is we're gonna have to put the burn box on the roof, but see the corner has those caps. I'm gonna start capping the entire oven. And then I'm gonna put the first three panels in. So then that'll be ready for the burn box. It's a big one. And then glass cabinets back there. I'll show you that. Compressors here now. Glass cabinets in its home. Now they're siliconing and trying to square up the glass room. Yeah, plenty of room now. This is this whole area is where the new booth will go for this monstrosity. Probably right here. What sucks is you know the long. Obviously, by the time I roll the big rack out, it's almost going to hit that door, but. I really don't have another option as to where to put it with what I have. So it is what it is. So we'll be good. It'll be fine. But yeah. Also, I probably sound a lot clearer. I got a wireless mic. And I don't even need, my other one had the big fuzzy wind protector. I don't even need that. I have my own wind protector. You can't even see the mic. This is all natural wind protector. Just nice. So hopefully my audio will be just crisp now. So yeah, she's coming along, but we'll, uh, we'll get back to you once we got some stuff figured out. All right, update. I'll show you. So we got three roof panels on on here. And then two roof panels here. Here's the burn box. Boys kicked ass today, putting all that up. This needs to get spun the opposite way. And Saturday, this is going up. So what we're gonna do is get four come-alongs, anchor them into the ceiling, chain hoist, chain falls, and just lift it up and build the rest of the roof around it and slowly lower it down the half inch 
clearance we have because we don't have no clearance. Normally you just lift it up and set it on top with a telehandler or something, but we don't have the room. But yeah, I just closed shop, but back there, the sandblast room is 90% complete. I just got to run some more airline, but we got this big water valve thing. I don't know what it is. We got to get blasted this week, so that should be done tomorrow. But yeah, hopefully Saturday that burn box will be up there. We'll put the doors on, mount all the control panel and stuff, and get to wiring. All the insulation on the lens. But yeah, we're almost there. So close. Can't wait to use this. I got a frame. Um, two frames, a dragster chassis, um, what else? A couple other things that are going to be coming my way. I already have one frame, but here waiting, so this has got to get up. So as long as Nipsco gets my meter in, will be mint, so I can at least fire it and make sure everything works. But yeah, so... I'll see you the next update, probably Saturday. So until Saturday. All right, got an update for you guys again. Since the last clip in this video before this one, I said, what did I say? That Saturday, we were gonna put the burn box up on the uh, oven. Um, it's been three weeks since that Saturday um, and it's done. The oven is complete. The burn box is up top. The clearance. There's probably... I can't even, you can't even see it. Hold on. Not so much clearance there is from the burn box to the ceiling. <laughs> Huge shout out to Adam and Larry. I don't, without them, I don't think we would be able to do it. Um, Adam with the scaffolding and everything, Larry, both of them with the knowledge, because we wouldn't have been able to do it, that's for sure. I mean, it's up there. It works, everything works. The control panel's wired, everything is wired. The only thing we're waiting on is Nikkor to upgrade my meter. I need a meter that does 2 million BTUs. This one that we have currently is only 600,000, so it got approved, it's taking longer. I have stuff lined up. As you can see, there's a dragster frame next to my truck. It's a frame in the back I gotta get done. Fortunately, I won't get the time to do it for the show that truck is supposed to be at. I hate breaking people the bad news. I try not to, but this one, unfortunately, is out of my hands. The oven's up. I also told you I wasn't gonna show you the building of the spray booth, but I'm here. It's going up. So that's done. But it's been a while since I did this, since I posted on YouTube. I told you I was gonna do it every week. I lied to you, it's been about a month and a half. We got busy, we had to make money because I still gotta pay bills, I still gotta pay the guys. So I didn't even really record lately. Um, I might have a video of us putting the burn box up. I don't have it. Let me try to get it from someone that does. It may be with the phone up and down because it's not side to side, but it's done. We're building the rack. This is the biggest rack I've ever seen. But uh, yeah. So thank you guys. Like I said, huge shout out to everyone that helped or is helping. I literally can't do it without you. Literally. I have no way to do this, but we're almost there. We're almost done building stuff and then powder coating here on out. So if you guys made it this far in the video, this one's a little boring. I'm sorry. Cause it's just me building stuff or the guys building stuff and me recording and helping where I can. But if you guys made it this far in the video, 
Thank you. It was boring. I promise it'll be better. But yeah, we'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, share, whatever. But I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. And we'll see you soon.